Free Man is a record that I just put out, but honestly, it's it's not. I would say um, it's not necessarily inspired by the time. So it's a record that I just put out. Free Man is a record that I just put out, inspired by years and years and years of the bullshit that we've been going through as Black people in America. Honestly, like that's just what it is. So um, I'm happy it's been getting a lot of good feedback, and a lot of people have have embraced it. You know, as my first single as points, and it's so crazy because. I, shit be beyond me, bro. Like, if you left it up to me, that wouldn't have been the first single as points. But to me, that's really important that that's the first one. Because wherever my career goes from here, where I started at was was there, was that free man. You know what I'm saying? So as people hustle back, as they hear new shit, that's where, that's where I started at because that's, that, that's what really matters at the end of the day. It's stuff like that that really matters. Like, we can make songs all day about getting drunk and, you know what I'm saying, fucking with chicks and, and making money and, and shitting on our haters and doing all of that shit and, and, you know what I'm saying, living whatever type of life that we want to live. But, like, but the shit that really matter is, is shit like that, bro. Shit like that that can inspire somebody to, to stand up and be proud of themselves and, and shit like that. So, this was a record that was inspired by the current movement because the current movement has been going on for hundreds of years. There's nothing like, you know what I'm saying? George Floyd, George Floyd and Breonna Taylor and, you know what I'm saying? Um, everybody else who we've lost this past six months, you know, is just another example of it. You know, we're talking about Mike Brown and we're talking about Tamir Rice and we're talking about, you know what I'm saying, Philando Castile and like we could just want to keep on going back. We can go back. Sean Bell, you feel me? Uh, I, I'm a do Diallo and then Adam and Louima. Let's just we want to go back. Rodney King and you want to go back. Let's just keep. You know what I'm saying? Like so, this shit that we that's, that we going through as Black people in America have, have been happening. My grandfather was my age, and when his grandfather was his age, and when his grandfather was his age, we've been been struggling and fighting for equality and freedom and just respect. And for Black Lives to Matter, so the 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 song was was written two years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like I had that song for two years, and I wasn't going to put it out as a single. It was just going to go on a project. At some point, it was going to go on a project. So, um, you know, and and uh, it was just a time that I was like, actually, what happened was I went on a, a run. I was on like a mile run and shit. So the song came on my my, my phone while I was running. And I'm like. Hey, this shit, <laughs> like this shit, kind of getting me more hype and shit for this for this run. So then I just put it on repeat and let it keep playing. And so it played the whole time, you know, the whole time I ran, the whole time I ran back. Um, and by the time I got back, I wasn't even tired. I was just more amped, like more amped, like I was just feeling it, like yeah, 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 to be free, to be free, and to be a free black man, to be proud of that, and to and to really say say the things that that people don't want to say sometimes because it's interesting like one of the first lines i say is like um i kept an indie crackers one in me and, and and i had a little pause like even somebody asked me it's like yeah Yo, you gonna say crackers on the song i'm like bruh how many times do niggas say niggas <laughs> on the record like like niggas say niggas all the time and nobody says anything about it so i'm definitely gonna say that yes and I do believe that, you know, when you buck the system, the people at the top, they don't look like me. I ain't saying nothing. But, you know what I'm saying? They just, it's, 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 they, they may want to end you. You know, when we talk about people who stood up for themselves and stood up for things, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Nipsey. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stop. You feel me? But it's like, that's that's the truth, the truth of, of the situation. So it's like, just being proud of who you are, being proud of yourself as a black man and, and being free. I wanted to put that message out there because we go through so much shit, man. We go through so much shit just to live free as black people in America that I felt like that the timing was right to put that out right now. All of them shits is coming out. <laughs> All of them shits is coming out, right? But um, the project is going to be dropping in the fall. Uh, right now it's called Everything is Fuck. That's the name of the project. Um, because depending on how you're looking at it, yeah. So uh, everything is fucked. It's dropping in the fall. But um, next up is On Me. Right after On Me, I think I'm doing Perfume and Stacks. 
it's probably coming right after that. And then I think after that, we might be doing uh, Stuck, Stuck and Home Alone and stuff like that. So, so all of them joints is coming, bro. I think some of my personal favorites right now is Stuck. Right now is, is um, Home Alone, because Home Alone was just, it's just something different about Home Alone, bro. It's just something different about it, for sure. So Home Alone is, is, is one of my favorites right now. Stuck is another one. Um, but the whole thing, bro, Big Fish, Big Fish, I got some real cool shit planned for Big Fish as well. Um, it's going to be a single. It's going to be a single as well. So, it's, uh, And I want to just shout out, too. I want to shout out the people who, who really helped me do this, too. So um, while I'm talking about it, a lot of my production, when we talk about Home Alone, Freeman, On Me, Stats, Stuck, <laughs> Perfume, is by my homie Jason Avalos, Legion. He's from Chicago, actually, too. So uh, Legion is definitely producers produce a lot of that stuff. And then Big Fish is produced by OSA, Trav. Um, what's up, y'all? Trav and Tyler Jasper, uh, the brothers from Virginia and shit. So uh, a lot of my uh, production. Um, but I got a new joint, too, by this kid named Mars. Crazy, crazy. Uh, and that's going to come soon, too. Uh, that's called Ugly. And, and that's 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 the problem. I, but I, bro, I make music. That's what I say. I make music, bro. I make music. So you know, shit. If I'm going in the studio, I'm coming out with something. I'm coming out with something every time too. So it's like that's the cool thing about me as an artist is that I come from a background where I've already been kind of tried and tested as as a quote unquote hit maker. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. But I'm going to go in there, I'm going to give you something that works, you know what I'm saying? And and we're going to just have fun with it, bro, and just keep rocking until we can't no more. 